Alexander Miles was born on May 18, 1838 in Circleville, Ohio to Mary and Michael Miles. During Alex's early adult years, he moved to Wisconsin where he began exploring his passion for inventing. Now, Alexander, he worked as a barber and during this time, he created hair care products. And around 1870, Alexander, he relocated to Winona, Minnesota, where he met his beautiful wife, Candace. And after the birth of their daughter, Grace, the family relocated to Duluth, Minnesota. Now, Alexander, he was a very successful barber. He was so successful, he opened a barber shop in the four-story St. Louis Hotel. And not only did he open his barber shop, he also purchased a real estate office. And Alexander, he was such a successful businessman, he became the first black member of the Duluth Chamber of Commerce. In 1884, Alexander... He built a three-story brownstone building, which became known as the Miles Block. Now, the Miles Block, it was a very great achievement. But Alex, he noticed that during the rise in his buildings, there were horrible risks associated with the elevator shaft doors. I mean, sometimes the shaft doors, they were accidentally left open and many people accidentally fell to their death. The elevator doors had to be manually operated at this time. And Alexander, he saw this as a great concern, especially when he noticed the shaft door left open during an elevator ride with his young daughter. So Alexander, he was determined to solve the problem. So, he attached a flexible belt to the elevator shaft directly above and below the floors. And his invention, it allowed the shaft doors to operate at the correct times. Now, the elevator doors, they were now automated through a series of levers and rollers. And Alexander, he was granted a patent for his invention on October the 11th, 1887. In 1899, Alexander and his family, they moved to Chicago, Illinois. And this is where he started the United Brotherhood. The United Brotherhood was a life insurance company for black customers who couldn't receive coverage from white-owned firms. And before his death, Alexander... He was considered the wealthiest black person in the Pacific Northwest area. And in 2007, he was inducted into the National Inventors Hall of Fame. Alexander Miles, from 1838 to 1918.